The Blood Stratos update dropped at midnight for me. This new update features a new set and final overworld boss variant, Blood Stratos, or more accurately, Lord Vayne. Lord Vayne is the Blood Moon counterpart to Lord Stratos, and he is not an easy boss. Lord Vayne is a super aggressive boss, whether it be through his Gatling Gun, his constant stomping, or targeting. He has two instant kill moves if you get caught in them, which are the Tornado Sweep and the Nuke. And the Nuke is the most important one, it does super high damage and knockback, and getting hit with it is a surefire way to die. To avoid this, you simply hide behind something while Lord Vayne is in the mid-center of the islands. Lord Vayne also has a 120,000 HP, but um, he, st he gets shredded anyway. With that out of the way, very brief description, we will now be moving on to the items. Lord Vayne drops two sets, one of which being the Red Sky Saint set, the counterpart to the Lord Stratos armor. You obtain the new Red Sky Saint's armor set from killing Lord Vayne and getting kill credit. This set has a perk that allows it to be a new self-sustained set that doubles as a healer set off of lifesteal. Additionally, the boss has a counterpart to the beloved Last Seraph set that we've made a video on before. We can now purchase the Fallen Seraph set in the death animation of Lord Vayne. This armor is incredibly cool, it's the opposite counterpart to Divine Crash with Polar Opposite st stats and similar ability both opposite execution. The way Fallen Seraph works is you mark your enemy with a debuff, you go far away, and then you M2 to get close to them. The farther you away you are, the more AoE you will do and the more damage. Also, the AoE for this thing is actually kind of massive. However, Fallen Seraph's perks do not end there. If you combine it with Divine Crash and jump before I'm 2 in, your AoE will gain additional Holy Skin and a new yellow AoE effect, which is cool. Finally, on the item side, Lord Vayne drops his Sanguine Bolt Rune. This rune is literally just Joseph's piercing blood. While it does alright damage initially, I believe the best use case for it is using it with a sharp ring to proc bleed. Why? Because every hit of piercing blood guard breaks. This fact also means that you can use it to proc tectonic heat, and the best part is, the rune's on a 10 second cooldown. 6 with Alpha F race. The only downside to this rune is it draining your HP. However, with the new curse whip changes on certain builds, you can heal it super quickly after using the rune. And it personally is what I use on my Fallen Seraph build. Last but not least, the weapons. And you won't hear about it from me because I'm going to link you to Hyren which actually understands them because um, I don't have them pro yet. Make sure to watch Hy Hyren's breakdown of a full uh, update for Blood Stratos because he definitely has things that I missed including weapon perks as I said earlier. But yeah that will be the video from me. Um, have fun everyone with the update. I love it. Especially Fallen Seraph. Bye!